We knew it was coming, but we certainly did not look forward to the day. Dick Enberg retiring today, his final home game here with the San Diego Padres after seven seasons. Oh, my. It's come to an end, and we are all collectively honored to have worked with him, honored to have heard him over all this time, and now we honor him with on-field ceremonies. Let's get you up for those ceremonies now and check in with the Padres public address announcer. Here's Alex Miniak. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight marks the final home broadcast for the great Dick and Berg. Please direct your attention to home plate for a special presentation. Here's Mark Grant. Thank you, Alex, and good evening, everybody. Welcome to the greatest ballpark in all of Major League Baseball, Petco Park. So pleased to be here tonight to celebrate the career of my partner and good friend, the professor, Mr. Dick Enberg. You know, we've shared so many great moments together in the booth over the years. But for me, the wonderful moment started when I was a 10-year-old boy with my dad in the living room watching UCLA basketball. Only to fast forward, now I have to pinch myself knowing that I get to work with the legend, Dick Enberg. As I grew older and became a sports fan, it seemed that every time I turned on the TV to watch a major event, this gentleman's voice was telling me the story. And I watched them all. NCAA basketball, Wimbledon, NFL, Olympics, World Series. It was nice to hear the smooth voice and descriptive stylings of Dick Enberg. Dick's ability to broadcast so many top sporting events sets him apart from all others. And lucky for me and all of us, he was able to return to the sport that he dearly loves with all his heart, which is baseball. Now, if I could have your attention, please direct it towards the big board, the video board, to have a look at the illustrious career of Dick Enberg. baseball uh, in your soul it doesn't go away it's there forever and he lines went deep to right field does that have a chance yes yeah! home run spence edberg a walk off home run to win a two to one touch them all two home runs two doubles and the padres win no hitting my father notwithstanding, Dick Enberg has always been, always been my favorite announcer. And, and I mean that when you, you look at all of the sports that he didn't do well. He was the very, very best at whatever sport he was doing. Payne Stewart is the 1999 U.S. Open champion. Oh, my. Humphreys goes long. Has a man, Martin. Touchdown. Richard Dunn. Oh my, U.S. Open champion. How does that feel? Well, I just got a oh my from Dick Enberg. How about that? I am honored, delighted, thrilled, and happy to salute Dick Enberg, one of my friends and for whom I have tremendous respect. Dick has done every sport imaginable, and more importantly, he has done them perfectly. I don't mean pretty good or good or very good. I mean perfectly. That rich voice, the fact that he knew exactly what he was talking about, and it didn't make any difference whether it was football or basketball or baseball or tennis, even some golf as well. So, Dick, delighted for the opportunity to salute you, even though we are a couple of hundred miles away from each other. Wherever I am, if your name comes up, I will say from my heart, as good as they come. A true Hall of Famer through and through. And speaking of Hall of Famers, somebody who is very near and dear to Dick's heart is in attendance with us. If you're a tennis fan, he's a Hall of Famer. He lives here in San Diego. Big round of applause for the Rocket, Rod Laver, Hall of Famer.
Now joining us on the field for today's ceremony, please welcome Padres President and CEO, Mike D. And Padres Managing Partner, Peter Seidler. At this time, ask Mr. Seidler to please come to the microphone. Peter. Thank you, Mark. Today we all have the good fortune to pause, take a deep breath, and thank Dick Enberg for his Hall of Fame accomplishments and also recognize him as a uniquely talented yet always humble and kind Hall of Fame person. It has been a privilege for all of us to have had one of the great storytellers of all time call our Padres games for the last seven seasons. To ensure Dick's legacy lives on here at Petco Park Earlier today, we dedicated broadcast booth one in Dick's honor. This booth is where Dick called his first game with the Padres. A bronze plaque and several framed photos will serve to remind all that come through the broadcast wing that this is where the great Dick Anberg called the game he loves. Congratulations, Dick. Thank you, Peter. Now at this time, Peter and Mike would like to present the professor with a special gift on behalf of the Padres. And what do you know, a classic microphone to remember your incredible career and time with the Padres. At this time, I'd like to ask Dick's wife, Barbara, to join us out on the field. Barbara Enberg, ladies and gentlemen. And Dick, you've been a part of the Padres family for seven seasons, and we know how important your family is. So at this time, I think it's only appropriate that we add to the family picture here. Please welcome the son of Dick Enberg, Ted Enberg and his daughter, Nicole, who flew in earlier today. And Dick, while we have a moment, please direct your attention to the video board. We have one more message for you. Some people have called you a legend, their hero, one of the greats, and that you are. But for us, you will also just be the most amazing dad and the most incredible grandfather, tap dancing, ice cream eating, goofy grandpa. And we love you so much. We're so proud of your just magnificent career, your drive, your motivation, your love for everything that you do. Um, we're so lucky to have you in our lives and we love you very much. I can't tell you how proud this man is to be a grandfather. Every time he talks about Archie, he just beams. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, the professor, the Hall of Fame broadcaster, Mr. Dick Enberg. It's getting way too long. Uh, 60 wonderful years, it's hard to believe um, how privileged I've been and why was God so good to me. I want to thank, as usual, as usual in this situation, a lot of thank yous. I'll try to limit them. I want to thank John Moore. Seven years ago, he gave me a chance to join the Padre organization. I want to thank certainly the current Padre ownership, Ron Fowler and Peter and Tom Seidler and, and all the other owners. Uh, my 
thanks to Gene Autry, the singing cowboy 50 years ago, it said you could be the California Angels announcer. Uh, the, you know, like a second father, Gene Autry, thank you. Um, I want to thank my Fox Sports San Diego colleagues. Uh, you folks watch our television. Sometimes it's a lot easier when the team wins and wins and wins and wins. And when the team isn't quite so successful, that's when the hardest work is done. And every night, 162 games a year, the people with whom I work produce an Emmy awarding award-winning telecast and wait till we go for a pennant how good they're going to be and certainly thanks to Barbara and the surprise of my family and Nicole and Ted and all the way from Rwanda Emily to my friends and to the fans themselves and thanks to this beautiful game I hope you fans and I know I'm speaking to the choir don't ever turn your back on how beautiful this game of baseball is. It's the best game. It's the best announcer's game. So, I'm going to join you next year, the student body of baseball. And I promise I'm going to be alongside you fans on the curb when the San Diego Padres, no, the World Series champion San Diego Padres parade by. So onward and upward, and I guess that'd be the obvious what I, I should say now, but it's already out there on the grass. How the heck would I must say it anyway? Oh my! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And one more time for the Hall of Famer, Dick Enberg.